Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back my Cyber Angels and welcome to the new viewers that have landed on this page or this channel for the first time. I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded. Um, you can find all the information in the description box um, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading um, and also other information to go to the website. There you can find out all information and especially in, um, if you don't want to go th through the playlists on YouTube you will see the update um, about the competition that's g been going on since a week ago until the end of August. So if you want to join in the um, if you want to join in in the competition then please go to the website or have a look um, on the uh, YouTube page uh, and you can win one of these decks brand new the Shadowlands which I'm using here you can find out more information either below or in the white dot in the right hand corner okay now I'm doing my nine card spread again this week and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. And this is the uh, Querent card, or the overall energy. Just as you would like to take it, doesn't matter if you want to be the Querent, or the overall energy. You also know if you've been following me, and for those that are new, I take also the corner cards and the cards around it, to clarify it, or vice versa you get a lot of information that way also an angel feather card and a crystal card now my cards have a mind of their own today they're all wobbly <laughs> it's not that I don't take care of them but they seem to be wobbly today I hope I'm not wobbly <laughs> and if you have your birthday this week then happy birthday and may you have a blessed year ahead of you for you there will be a new year starting Gemmy Gem Gems and remember this is the last week of the Gemini energy and we're going into Cancer so we have a change of sign so also the change of energy well the energy so far in the Gemini period has been really fantastic okay let's get started you have the Knight of Wands so you might be meeting um, uh, an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius or you might be getting news from one of these people N and the Knight of Wands also means that you might be moving home and if you do get news then you have to act upon it very swiftly don't let it pass you by so take action that is the key word here take action when you receive news it could be about passion like I said you could be meeting them or you might already have a friendship and you might be getting a love message or a passionate message so act upon it keep the fire going yeah and if you want to want it to be a fully fledged a relationship then know your boundaries and their boundaries and let each other know how, uh, what the boundaries are otherwise you'll be burnt out because it's action 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 with the fire signs so on Monday you have um, discretion discretion and that is the judgment card in the traditional tarot try to see things from a different perspective that is what I'm getting with this card and in this deck because the owl is wise so try to keep um, uh, an open mind and see things from different perspectives okay now there could be a new beginning there could be a new passion like I said or a new job like I said or a new home so there is a new beginning you might get a second chance as judgment is 
learn that usually Gabriel that blows life in the rising dead and the rising dead have already lived so that's why I take it as a second chance okay and be discreet if you see something that is not meant for you to see or something very personal be discreet about it okay that's the message on Monday now on Wednesday we have the four of swords and the four of swords Gemini like I said the, the Gemini energy is busy 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 so perhaps um, midweek or at the end of the week this is Wednesday but I think because we've got four cards four stages four is yeah uh, also uh, boundaries uh, no not boundaries um, found foundations a proper foundations perhaps you've built something and it's on a good solid foundation and now it's time to take rest please meditate or contemplate take time out to do this think things through don't do things in haste otherwise you will have to repent in leisure so perhaps now it's time for a break because you've been really busy or it is time to contemplate and meditate and evaluate the situation or question or situation at hand sorry if my nails seem to be dirty I've been painting ah, green paint sorry and on Friday we have the King of Swords and that is you Jemmy Gem Gems and you might be signing contracts so if you are getting married with this beautiful uh, Knight of Wands or if you are moving home because he represents buying a house or moving home you might be signing contracts um, but the King of Swords represents wisdom communication and uh, the judicial law uh, clarity honesty justice and you do have judgment so there might be a, a judgment s sent out in a, a letter you might receive the judgment if you are in a judicial situation perhaps you are put you, you, something has become clear to you and honest and the uh, the truth will come out like I said discretion be careful if you see something or if you're not allowed to know something be discreet about it you can say it and tell it to your lawyer that could help you in evidence wise but I see that you are signing contracts or an agreement this could be a marriage certificate a divorce certificate this could be the contract for buying a house or a lease the King of Swords also stands for perhaps like I said a love letter Ooh, nice one so um, you're responding to the news good 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 on you Jim and um, this could also mean that you might start a new study to gain the wisdom because the Gemini's are eager to learn so they know a lot and a little bit of everything we are multitaskers and we can chat until the cows come home so you might need that bit of knowledge or sp uh, specialize in some kind of knowledge so that you can talk about it and uh, enhance others knowledge you might be a teacher you might start a new job as a teacher this is what I'm seeing okay or you might seek advice from a legal uh, a professional be it legal or an estate agent somebody professional you might need some more information great stuff at the weekend it's best to take this rest like I said and on Wednesday and you have the ten of ones so something is drawing to a close there might be an end and you've only got a few more steps to go you might have been through a difficult time because it's a heavy load that you've been carrying but the end is in sight okay so don't give up now okay don't give up there is a new beginning right in front of you wow 
it could be a new passion since it's lying next to the knight of swords now we've got the magician and that is oh, the magician represents uh, Gemini and Aries so it might be in other Gemini it might be you Gemini um, that um, is coming into your life of course the magician is also number one or it could be in Aries and, and Aries is uh, the king of fire the king of wands okay now don't um, be stay true and stay uh, honest in everything you do and know your boundaries okay you've been contemplating about something some you've been thinking about something and you've been evaluating the situation okay now you want clarity because we stand for clarity honesty and justice so if um, a fire sign has done you wrong or anybody else for that matter perhaps another Gemini then you want justice and you have to think clearly so take that time take time out to think you have the power you have all the tools you've got the knowledge you most probably have the financial know-how or um, support to get what you need if it is to do with justice okay T you can take action and take care okay it could be about something that you're passionate about or that you care about because justice we all want justice don't we and we all want clarity you've got the know-how and the ability and the strength to come into action to make your wish come true that's the magician but the magician says keep it on the straight and narrow be honest about it don't make any illusions otherwise you will be disillusioned because the magician is the biggest illusionist so get clarity before you take the next step like get, um, getting that house look at the small print in the contract make sure you are safe now look at this get a different perspective that is what I started off with you are getting a second chance a new beginning definitely perhaps with this knight of wands this magical knight of wands but know your boundaries and know his boundaries otherwise you will you can um, make this beautiful uh, friendship or special relationship turn into a heavy load and then you'll be going back to where you might have been before because our lives do go up and down and you don't want a difficult um, period you don't want to carry somebody else's problems or you don't want to uh, be the carer of somebody it has to have equilibrium right the relationship means that you're equal to each other don't be carrying other people's burdens share them by all means but you cannot um, you cannot the magician magic I'm getting to here you cannot magic away somebody else's issues let alone your own you have enough of a load to carry with your own issues so be wise be clear and be uh, honest okay take the action and the magic will happen by itself you have to give it a little bit of a push okay now you've got the five of swords so that's why I'm, I said there might be a, a, a disagreement or a divorce be careful what you say or what you do you've got the five of swords nobody is the winner walk away from somebody else's drama okay like I said don't carry somebody else's burdens otherwise you will burn up and be careful what you say and what you do but keep it in the right do it uh, do it rightful do it, don't do don't be backhanded okay this is what I'm hearing keep it uh, clear keep it out in the open let the truth come out let the truth come out and just say it to your advisor if something is bugging you but don't go and 
make a fight with the opposite person okay because nobody is the winner you only make the load heavier okay so learn from the past be wise be rise above it like the owl just get a different perspective rise above above um, arguments talk to your lawyer if you are in a divorce or a disagreement then talk to your advisor whether it's a lawyer or a social worker the difficulties can be somebody else's lies or somebody else's issues they don't have to be yours walk away from it and talk to the right person about it well what is going to happen is you're going to be emotionally fulfilled you've got the ten of cups celebrations reunion extension in the family if you are partnered up or married there might be a baby on the way wow this is the family card happy families and you will be celebrating with family and friends it could be about a, a judicial situation because that is what it looks like in the reading it could be a, a disagreement uh, about a job it could be a disagreement about uh, a house that you've bought and uh, something's been neglected and they didn't own up for that so you want clarity okay and you will get your clarity there will be a happy resolution because you have taken time out to think about it and to evaluate it perhaps you've got a professional to evaluate the house or the situation and they've brought out a report and they've written all their um, facts and evidence in a report and now you can go to the judicial system and you will have a happy result and I did not sort out the cards um, when I started the reading I thought oh no it's heavy 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 and I just keep them on the table and then the nine of Pentacles came out so there is an ending this is an ending this is an ending to difficulties you are going to get your money you're going to get your wish you're going to get the repair in the house or you're going to get justice you're getting this new beginning and this second chance but whether if it's a, if it's a job and you've been working for one firm um, whether and you've been laid off because of a discrepancy um, I don't know whether you will want to go back to the same firm okay so think about it do you want to go back what do you want before you start this judicial s situation you don't want to go into a fight but you're going to go to somebody to adv advise ask advice um, so that you can get a, a, a good result a positive result that will give you your wish or your money that you are owed now for the angel feather you have ruby angel two hearts sealed as one so that could be a new passion for you this week Gemini if that is what you wish because the wish card I take the nine of Pentacles and the nine of cups actually as a wish card because who doesn't want money but it money doesn't buy love so if you want love and that is you could have abundance the nine of pentacles means abundance okay and like I said the nine of pentacles means for me also a wish a wish coming true it could be love it could be holiday or taking time out or it could be buying a house because the night means moving home so your wish could now you've got the money you now you are, can buy that house and take it, it easy leisure this is what I see as leisure sitting down because we never sit down and we're never um, we're always busy okay and that could be your new beginning okay but it could also be a new love with another Gemini but don't um, don't exclude the Libra and Aquarians 
okay but Gemini is um, definitely or Aries uh, Leo or Sagittarius because the mag magician is Aries and is also representing Gemini those two so those two are very prominent okay now two hearts sealed as one so you might be getting married like I said or moving in the angels have heard your prayers to meet your soulmate and are here to inform you that this person will arrive in your life very soon right and you've got citron and citron is a lovely lovely gem it's a sort of like a soft yellow um, I've got a citron stone and it's like a, they call it a citron diamond diamond so I don't know whether citron is a diamond but it is yellow and you can see the face of the spirit in the stone and you've got number 17 and 17 becomes an 8 so you are in your strength you are the magician you can make it happen okay and you are wise you are a thinker so use your wisdom and stand in your power stronger than you think you are and it's also the money house and money is coming to you you're going from an 8 to a 9 the essential meaning of citrine is joyful expressiveness exuberance and happiness letting go of any and all negativity look at that sorry these two happy money and love abundance is coming your way now is the time for you to be you and to experience the tremendous joy available to you with all the hard work you do to overcome your old patterns heal the wounds of the past and forgive yourself there you are learn from your past and others as you walk the healing path you might find that you have forgotten how to just have fun and laugh that's quite true because Gemini's are always busy and usually when you're busy it doesn't matter whether you're a Gemini or not but you might just be busy to stop focusing on uh, your sadness or what you have not got and what you wish for to avoid clarity to avoid clarity and to see what is really uh, below you get the higher perspective be happy today Citrin spirit is here to amplify the joy in your life there you go so feel it and express it as if you are broadcasting it to the entire planet because you are however serious life may feel the conscious universe really wants all of us to have fun so you are doing important work when you exuberantly share your joy with the world make time for pure playfulness and joy today and I hope I do bring you joy with this reading Jimmy Gem Gems and now I'm going to give you the meaning of the Citroen card for the relationship if you are in a relationship or if you would l if you have a question about relationships in our relationships we work to build foundations I was talking about foundations there of love and trust and one way to do that is through simply spending time together having fun do something with someone else some activity you enjoy or that neither of you have tried before that will make your hearts happy being adventurous can be fun even if the experience doesn't turn out quite as you expected and the rain in and the rain insists on falling on your parade intend to find something funny and positive in whatever you do with others today 
and joy will be your gift magnified by the power of citron spirit remember your joy encourages and inspires others to let go of the their sadness and cynicism so don't hold back radiate happiness that is what you do you infect other people with your happiness you are a, you will be a magnet and you will draw people to you that is the magic now we've got the uh, financial side or the prosperous message and that is to prosper is to thrive and flourish and choosing to be joyful can take us out of our doldrums of our everyday tasks and into pleasure and happiness even if you have financial obligations to att attend to today and you are not looking forward to the chore bringing a sense of fun to the table you are building your wealth and engaging in the flow of abundance in the universal consciousness there you go these cards are very prompt joyful enthusiasm can help you discover new ways to invest in expending your wealth and I was talking about expending not only with birth of a child but also in being together and expending time together to be the happy family the possibility for prosperity are endless so let yourself be happy at the thought of what you might co-create togetherness is always better than being alone sharing that is the joy of life anyway for me it is I hope you've enjoyed this reading Gemini and I hope to see you in the life so enjoy today and the coming week and remember sharing is beautiful and especially with your loved one two hearts sealed as one doesn't matter what you do when you're together where you talk or have a cup of coffee or go for a walk there's plenty of things that you can do together that does not cost money so let your <coughs> go with the flow and open your heart okay and take time out together it will also strengthen your bond or refresh your bond with your other half so take care and i hope to see you in life please like and share and well done coming in on the fourth place you were the fourth and that's why i'm putting this out as the fourth video so like the video and perhaps uh, you might be first next week because i will do um, the reading um, for the most likes the video the video that has the most likes will be the first and then i go down the row you were fourth so well done stay with me Love you as always. Be safe and enjoy the week. Ciao, ciao.